Hi, my name is Danilo Oliveira. I'm a product engineer with Cheve Lighting. And today I'm going to show you how to run ArtNet, ClingNet, on a Nexus 4x4. All right, so the first thing we want to do is check our wiring connections. So I've gone ahead and connected an Ethernet cable from my computer over to my router and a separate Ethernet cable from my router over to my fixtures here. We want to make sure that my fixtures as well as my computer are all within the same network. And keep in mind, when making your selection of a router, please use a high quality router. Do not use one of the cheaper routers. This might cause you to have some networking issues. All right, now once you're done with your wiring, you'll go ahead and want to select ClingNet over on the back of your panels. So if you hit menu and you select with the up and down buttons, you go down to the ethernet settings, press enter. Right now it is set to ArtNet. We want to select ClingNet because this is the protocol we're going to be using right now. So hit enter and swap it over to ClingNet. And do this so for all your panels within your network. Our first thing we're going to take a look at is our Chaos ClingNet mapper. And that is the first thing we want to do. We want to go ahead and open up our ClingNet mapper software. And as you see here, as soon as I opened up, you see all my four Nexus is connected. Now what I want to do first is come over here to the top. The second box over, I want to change that over to test pattern. That's my output window. And I want to change my third box to flashing output selection. Now once I have that, you can notice that once I click on a panel, it'll flash on green and I know which panel I'm clicking on. So I want to go ahead and click, hold and drag the panel over, drop it in. You can see that it's now lit up because it is outputting the test pattern. And I want to go ahead and do the same thing for all my other panels because I want to map them out. So I want to click, hold and drag and place in reference to the first panel I dropped in. And same thing for the rest of the panels. Now by doing this, I am virtually building my array of fixtures to make sure that my video maps correctly across all of my panels. Now that I have my panels dropped in, if I were to select all of them, click, hold, and move, you can see that they are changing and it's outputting my test pattern. So prior to leaving this window, I want to go ahead and come over here to the top. And I want to crop to the canvas that is selected devices. And the reason I do that is when I play a full screen video over on my Archaeos Media Master software on the ClingNet portion, I want to take the entire video and not just a small box out of the middle. So once I have it cropped, I'll go over to File, Save As, and save it to anywhere. I'll go ahead and save it to my desktop and I'll call this test. Now once I saved it, I can go ahead and exit out of my CleanNet mapper and open up my Archaeos Media Master. Okay, now that I have my Archaeos Media Master open, I want to go ahead and select that file that I just saved. So I'll go up to File, I'll hit on Preferences, and you can see about midway down the screen, I have a clean net bar. So I want to go ahead and check that little checkbox, make sure it's activated. And then hit import and select the file that I've saved. So remember I saved it over at the desktop and I called it test. Now that I imported the file, I want to go ahead and select my parameters for my playback. So for now I'll be using my playback fader number one. I don't want to play any effects, but within our chaos you do have the option to play different effects on a video layer. I want to select it as full screen as far as my position goes. I also do have the ability to crop different video images within our chaos if I choose to or not. Mixing I want to select as replace or multiplication. For now I want to keep it as replace. This is an option that you have when you're playbacking multiple video layers onto the same thing. And I want to change my output over to ClingNet. 
Alright, so now I want to select my video file. I'll go ahead and I'll click on my visual, which right now there is no visual selected. And I have a little pop-up screen. Now, for now, I'll just select this little fire swirl video, but you have the option to select any video you choose to, as well as load in your own videos. So once that's selected, there's just one more thing I want to do prior to bringing up my fader. Over here on my right portion of the screen, because I imported a file for ClayNet, it has resetted my brightness and my contrast. So I want to go ahead and bring up my brightness, about halfway should do it. My contrast about 25% to 30% should be fine. And now that I've done so, I can go ahead and I can bring up my fader. And I can see that the video file is now playing within the Nexus 4x4 setup I have going. Alright, now that we've seen a little bit of CleanNet, I want to go ahead and show you how to set up your ArtNet within the menu of the fixtures. Keep in mind all your connections do stay the same as far as the wiring goes. So I want to go ahead and hit menu with my up and down buttons. I'll go to my ethernet settings, hit enter. And then under protocol, I'll hit enter and select the ArcNet protocol. Now you'll notice that a few different options have just popped up within my menu once I selected my ArcNet. First one is universe. And the universe, it has a range from 0 to 15. Now, ArtNet is a protocol where you can select multiple channels or much higher range of DMX channels. And the universe net and subnet are different ways of doing so. So for the time being, we'll keep universe as 0. Now under subnet, you can see that there's also a range from 0 to 15. We want to go ahead and keep that as 0 again. And for the net feature, which is only available within ArcNet 3 protocol, there is a range from 0 to 127. We want to keep it as 0 as well. Our Chaos LED Mapper only allows the ArcNet 2 protocol, so net functionality is not an option if you are using the Arceos LED Mapper to do your ArcNet setup. Now you can see there is one more option on my screen here, which would be IP mode. We will be using static, but uh, this unit has a static mode as well as DHCP for your choice. With DHCP, the unit will try to fetch an IP from the router, while in static mode, it'll use a industry standard ArtNet IP address, which will fall under the two dot range. Why once you have set up all your ArtNet functionalities within this menu, you'll want to go ahead and click menu and go over to your DMX address and set up your address. Remember with ArtNet you have the ability to change your universe, your subnet, your net, as well as your address. So depending on how you are using these units, if you're changing the subnet, the net, or the universe, you might want to change the address as well. So for this specific unit, the address is one and the addresses will differ within the other units. Alright, now the next thing I want to show you guys is the Archaeos LED Mapper, or the ArtNet. So I'll go ahead and I'll open up my Archaeos LED Mapper. And once I open that up, you can see here that my surface is set to 100 by 100, and my profile has already been created. However, most of you guys out there, you might not see the unit within the profile, so let me go ahead and show you how to create the profile. On the bottom left corner, if you hit new, it'll ask you for a manufacturer and a product. So we'll call this Chauvet. As far as the product goes, we'll say it's the Nexus 4x4. Now on the right hand side, you can see that the type does say RGB and for width and height, it's defaulted to 10. We can keep the type as is, however, we do need to change the width and the height to 4x4 four four, and we want to hit apply changes. You can see that my section here in the middle has already changed a bit to a 4x4 four four grid. Now we want to patch this grid and on the bottom here on the bottom right corner you can see an auto patching function. It'll give you a first and then feature and it's defaulted from left to right and from top to bottom. This is how the DMX mapping is on the fixture so we want to keep it as is. 
just go ahead and hit patch. You can see everything has been patched and turned red. All right, now that we've created the profile, with the LED mapper, we don't have some of the functionalities that we have with the CleanNet mapper. So we'd have to crop this image prior to actually dropping in your fixtures. So over in the top section here, I want to go ahead and hit set. And because I have a two by two grid, this is eight by eight pixels. So I'll select that and hit okay. Now you can see that my canvas has dropped in size significantly. And the next thing I want to do is drop in my fixtures. So I'll click, hold and drag and drop right into the canvas as far as the next is 4x4. And you can see that the first unit has turned on and the subnet, universe and star channel are defaulted to 0, 0 and 1. Now remember I've spoken to you guys about the subnet and the universe and we do not need to change it from 0. We have on the back of the unit pre-configured to 0 already. As far as the star channel, this is my first unit and I have set it as unit address 1. So I'll keep that as is and hit OK. Now I'll move this unit around so it's over in my bottom right corner. And I'll just start dropping the next fixture on. Now you'll notice that once I drop the next fixture, it has automatically changed my start channel for me. It does that because this is the next available channel within my addressing uh, functionality. So it'll give me an address of 49 and I have already pre-configured that to the panel. I'll, have, I'll hit OK. Drag it over to my bottom left corner. And keep doing that with the same with the next two panels. And just make sure that I have cropped it over to the correct portion of the screen. Now once I have all my panels dropped in and mapped out, you'll see that they all turned on over to the test pattern. I'll go ahead and I'll want to save this file. So I'll go to File, Save As, and for the time being I'll just call this test and save it to my desktop. Alright, now that I've saved my file, I'll go ahead and I'll open up my Archaeos Media Master. Alright, now once my Media Master opens up, I'll want to activate my LED mapper. So I'll click on File, Preferences. About midway down, just under the Clean It section, I have an LED mapper checkbox. I want to activate that. Hit Open. And select the file I've just saved. Now you can see the units have turned black. That's because the Media Master now sees the units on the DartNet protocol. And you'll notice that my brightness and my contrast has also reset to zero, just as they did with the CleanNet. So I want to go ahead and bring that up about midway on brightness, 25% of contrast should be enough. And I want to go ahead and on my first fader, change some other things. First thing, I want to select Output as LED Mapper. And I'll keep my mixing position and effects as they were before. And the video, the video file should be fine as far as this one goes. So you'll notice that once I bring my fader up, the video will play through. Alright, so once again, my name is Danilo. I'm with Chauvet Lighting. And this is how you set your Nexus 4x4s on Artnet and Clingnet.